on RTV6. And welcome back. This is day 15 of the second trial involving the Southside explosion. The jury has heard from dozens of witnesses, but there are some names jurors will never hear from, like Van Morrison, Lennon, and McCartney. Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez reports on a father's journey seeking justice. It is a story you will see only on RTV6. What appears ordinary opens a door into a father's personal journey. We went along with the power of music is no mystery. Does the music that you and your son shared bring you peace as you have to deal with something like what you're dealing with? Yes, uh, I've used music to, to maybe escape or to relax off as far back as I can remember. While he drives to the Allen County Courthouse in Fort Wayne, John Longworth leans on the rhythms combining brass and guitars. It eases the pain of reliving through a second trial the horror of November 2012. His son Dion and his wife Jennifer killed in the South Side explosion. Is there any one CD that every time you, you look at you go, that's my son, that's... Yes. That's Florence and the machine would not fade away. John recalls the song was the topic of one of the last emails he sent Dion before his death. And I was playing this, started playing these things, and I must have played this 20 or 30 times. And so I sent him an email telling him how much I love this. And this is only good if you really turn it up loudly. Okay. <laughs> Let's jam. You want to jam? We can jam. I think my son was one of the best people I've ever known and certainly better than me. Father and son began their appreciation for albums at an early age. He would hum and, and do different things, make different noises. And one of his sisters said, Dion, why don't you stop that? And what are you doing? And he said, I'm making my music. <laughs> the Longworth shared an interest in a variety of genres. This is one of my favorites. In 2010, Dion bought his dad the Beatles box set. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Yes. They helped John through the first trial. He played their CD during the six hour round trip from Indy to South Bend. No one would have any idea what's happening in this vehicle. Yeah. What does that say about life to you? So it's much of the time we're, we're alone, and, but you do have connections that you can carry. Uh, for me, it means I try to remember to smile more and to be nice to people because you never know what they have been experiencing. A personal testimony of a father on a road trip <laughs> unlike any other in which every song soothes his loss and strengthens his love for a young couple. But you'll have the music, right? And yes, I always have music. And you always have in your heart not only your son Dion, but also Jennifer. Yes, I think about both of them every day. The round trip drive to Fort Wayne is about two hours shorter than South Bend, but no less emotional. Mr. Longworth testified in this trial, but not the first. Dion and Jennifer's family members are present as much as possible in the case against Bob Leonard Jr. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Now.